Today on Whoa. Moving Day, we meet a couple moving in together for the first time. So why are you taking the plunge now? Because Erica's got collateral. <laughs> <laughs> and he's happy to let her do more than her fair share of the work, too. She's doing the south move and you've got the expansive guys in. It's hilarious. Oh, Erica has the good ideas and I take them. Welcome to Moving Day. Today we're in Luton to meet a young couple who are moving tomorrow. They currently own separate houses, but they're taking the big plunge and mm. buying a place together over in Abbots Langley in Hertfordshire. So which one of the pair lives down this street? Let's find out. Arcade game fanatics Richard Williams, 30, and Erica Pew, 25, have been going out together for three years. Fun-loving Richard lives in this two-bed terrace in Luton with his dog Cass. He works as a marketing manager for a large beer company. Erica lives 30 miles away in her two-bed maisonette in Enfield, Middlesex, with her cats, Cleo and Molly. She organises glamorous celebrity events for a living. They're selling up and pulling their resources to buy somewhere big enough to house their twin passions, their pets and their collection of arcade machines. This three-bed semi in Abbott's Langley, Hertfordshire fits the bill perfectly. It's about halfway between her flat and his house here in Luton, where we've come to meet them. Oh, oh, hi! How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Good how are you? Nice to meet you, Gavin. Thank you very much. Cool. Wow, look at this huge box. You've got a big box. How fantastic. In your living room, isn't this great? Yeah, we bought that about six months ago. That'll be going in the new house. Oh, Do you know where yet? In the games room when we build it. Yeah. Oh. When we build it, <laughs> if we build it. <laughs> so how organised are you for this big move tomorrow? Um. <laughs> That's a good question. Um. I'm more under control than Rich. Got, I've got a lot of stuff packed up. A few bits to go, but yeah. pretty much 80% now, I reckon. Right. But I think you should maybe go and have a quick nose around the house and see how this packing is really coming along. And see if you have done that much. Yeah. And go and check on the dog, I can hear it whining. That was dog. me. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the dog behind the door. So you guys, you're quite organised. Now Erica, you're yeah. moving, you're coming from a different house, aren't That's you? That's right, I'm coming from Enfield. From Enfield. So, yeah. so we're living separately just now, but coming together tomorrow. Yes, yeah. big day. Yeah, I mean this is quite a big thing, you guys moving in together. A big yeah. step. Yeah, we well, three years, isn't it? So we thought we'd better do we'd better take the plunge. <laughs> You've been going out together for yeah, three for, years. For yeah, that's right. Right, so why are you taking the plunge now? Moving together. Because Erica's got collateral. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good answer. <laughs> well, this obviously used to be a dining room, but they're using it for something far more important. All the video games. One there, one the other side, and some form of fruit machine with a ball thing. Should be fun. Essentials put down here, jobs to do. We've got phone in the meter readings, should always remember to do that. Call your bank, your solicitor, get the keys. Arcade machines, top of the list of other jobs to do. You can see what the real fond things are here. I could have bought a stereo. I thought, no, I'll buy a jukebox instead. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've really made up this record collection together. This is kind of your favourite hits, is it? Yeah, well, wow. Rich has come round to my place and stolen half of my CD collection, which is why yeah, they're I all here. cherry picked the best ones <laughs> from Erebus. <laughs> so I've got about that many CDs now. I used to have about two racks full. Classic upstairs for one of these houses is just two rooms of a similar size. You can tell Rich is a little bit of a bachelor at heart. Football memorabilia. Loads of DVDs there, games, consoles, stereo equipment, golf clubs. Hertfordshire is definitely the place for more golf courses. Let's have a look at the other room, the master bed round here. Very calming, quite nice. Got Dex there, obviously loves his music. And look at this picture of happiness. I think they're going to live together very, very well in their new home. And how do you split your time just now as a couple? I mean, you kind of flip between each other's houses. Um, yeah, we, we probably, we're probably... Five nights a week together, I'd say, at yeah. the seven. But it sounds like you're, you're quite sorted in the situation at the moment, the fact that you've got this little bit of London and yeah. you're yeah. up here in Luton. It well, works I work quite in, well. I work, my head office is in Luton, so it's always been handy having a house here. Mm. But nice as well that you've both got your own independence. Mm. Mm. And you're giving all that up to live together. Yeah. <laughs> Not all of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, look, I think I want to check out Erica's style because I think she's going to be a lot more girly. And will the two styles collide, clash, or will it be a match made in heaven? I think I'll check out her place I in think Enfield. Heaven. You reckon? Yes, I've got loads of little DIY jobs to finish around the house as well, so Rich is going to be a busy man. Let's get on with it. Now, the games machines, obviously, are quite big items. Um, yeah. Erica's got one as well, hasn't she? Yeah, she's got a bigger one than what I've got, actually. <laughs> 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 no wonder you're moving in together. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Wow, that was some journey, Erica. Yes, that's why we're moving in together. <laughs> that's taken us about 45 minutes. Okay. Nightmare if you two want to see each other during the week. It's like, I'll just pop over. Yeah, wow, it. think again. Oh, there we go. Got stairs, it's like an upper maisonette, is it? Yeah, that's right. First floor maisonette. There's four all together, so... In the, in the system. Very nice. And my baby. Oh, Erica, how could you do this to yourself? <laughs> this is a monstrosity in your home. Oh, this was my anniversary present from Rich. Was and it? Did you uh, specifically ask for uh, one of these machines? I did, yes. I, well, he showed me it on eBay, <laughs> and I did tell him how cool it was, because my brother and I used to play this machine when we were younger. I could never finish it. And uh, as soon as I said that, that was it. He, he bought it. <laughs> I can't help but seeing how sweet of him. But really, <laughs> did he have to? What happened there? Well, I had the uh, rather ingenious idea one day when I came home from work, I got locked out, and I uh, thought, rather than smashing the whole window, I cut a little hole out with a glass cutter and managed to flick the, the bar up to actually get in. Four years later, the tape's still over it, so unfortunately I've never got round to it, and I really ought to sort it out before I go, so that's why it's like that. OK, here's the lounge, but as you can see, it's my packing area at the moment. It's really <laughs> impressive. I like all your packing here. I didn't realise my whole life would fit into one little corner of my room, actually. Which is just as well with all these arcade machines. They might be big and heavy, but the circuitry is very fragile. Richard needs to dismantle them before moving day. It's a good idea to take photos and to colour code the wires to make sure things go back together properly at the other end. Ah, this looks like the place. Getting a piece of glass cut for the window is rather more straightforward. This is a great wee patch of garden you've got out here. Oh, it's a lovely. It's a really good patch with like barbecues and bit, having friends over. But uh, you should see the garden of the new place here. Got the details. Got the details of the new yeah. house. Let's have a look. There you lovely. go. Lovely. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is all so modern, look. Mm. And garden, 170 foot oh, garden. Oh, you are kidding, look at that, it's <laughs> massive. Which is um, quite ironic, really, because I'm, as you can see, I'm actually no good at gardening. <laughs> so... I have noticed a few stray weeds around. <laughs> stray, as the whole stray. area here could be mowed at some point. <laughs> Well, if Erica has trouble looking after this small garden, how is she going to cope with 170 foot? Let's hope Richard's got green fingers. But at least the inside of the new house doesn't need any work. We've just been really, really lucky because the couple before us um, have got exactly the same taste as us. So, I mean, the, the colours in the lounge, the, the actual units of the kitchen, it's, it's quite uncanny, really. Now I have my new glass ready, I can make a start on this window. And I can make a start on dismantling Erica's bed ready for the move. A bit heavy. <laughs> Surely, with the two of us, we can't go too far wrong. <laughs> Watch your nails. Oh! Oh, God. You're right. Whoa! Good moment. I tell you what, look at this. This is our major problem. Ooh! Ooh! Next thing to do is just grab your piece of glass and make sure it all fits. Like so. Push it in at the bottom. And then up at the top. And uh, you've just got to put a couple of pins in to hold it in position. Then when you tap this in, be very, very careful. The next thing is to put some putty on it. The easiest way to do this is just squeeze it in with your thumb like so, working your way along. With the putty smoothed off, the job is done. It just needs to be left for 48 hours before painting. Put it there. Thank you. Is that, was that, we, we should do a manly Man thing. hug. Yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous about actually living with him, kind of, like, permanently? I have. This week, actually, I've just had this nervous, good nervous um, sort of anticipation of it all. But, um, you know, definitely looking forward to him being the last person I see at night and first person I see in the morning. I think I might cry. <laughs> I think I might cry.
wrong? <laughs> Next step has got to be marriage, isn't it, after well, moving in? Well, we won't go that far just yet. We'll wait and see how it goes. We've got to live together first and see how that goes. But we sort of pick somewhere where we can be for a long time. So read into that what you will, Gavin. <laughs> How are you doing? All right. I'm fine. How was your afternoon? Was it productive? Absolutely fantastic. Richard is such a nice bloke as well. Erica's got a wicked laugh. She's an absolute riot. We had such fun doing DIY together. What do you reckon? Good move or bad move for Eric and Richard? I've got to say a fantastic move because they're moving for all the right reasons. They've thought long and hard about this. I've seen the house on paper. It looks fantastic. Really swanky kitchen. It's going to be great. And it's a big commitment, but they're so ready for it. In fact, I can almost hear the wedding bells. It's a step in the right direction. Roll on moving day. See you tomorrow. Despite today's hard work, Richard still has some last minute packing and he's beginning to worry just how much work he's let himself in for at the new place. I guess the garden is something that I think I've been tasked with looking after, which I'm very happy about, obviously. Um, I'd like to see us both take an interest in the garden. Erica. <laughs> I'm sure there's bits of the garden you would love to work on. We've bought this house with the intention of being there sort of for the next however many years it takes to sort of go through the processes of, uh, you know, possibly children, possibly marriage and, you know, coming out the other side. So this is a, it's quite a big step. So um, quite really looking forward to it, really looking forward to making them go of it. And, uh, and sort of seeing where we are from there. Coming up, everyone gets stuck in on moving oh, day. Yes, I'm all right. Oh. I'm alive. But Richard seems happier to let the girls take the strain. I've been so busy over the last couple of months, I've not actually had time to cut it. So if you could crack on with that, that would be fantastic. It's the day of the move, and I'm at Richard's house in Luton, where we have a removal company and a top team to help us out. Yay! And I seem to have got the short straw with the self-move side of things here in Enfield. There's just me, Erica and her brother Dave to do everything. Yeah! Good morning, good morning. There's Cass sleeping away there. Is it not morning, Sally. How are Happy you? moving day. Thank you How very much. How are you today? Yeah, all ready for the big day. Uh, we've actually got quite a lot done. Uh, it's all pretty much in boxes. Uh, we've just got stuff to take down from the loft. And then get it in the van. So it sounds easy. Not only have I been stitched up with the self-move side of things, Sally Gray got a lot to answer for. <laughs> We've also got loft stuff as well. How much is yeah. up there? Um, well, I de could my flat before putting it on the market, so uh, a lot. <laughs> Do you know what I think is really interesting about this? Is the fact that you said to Erica initially, I'm not spending any money in a removal company, forget it, we'll do a self-move. And now she's doing the self-move and you've got the expensive guys in. It's hilarious. Well, Erica has the good ideas and I take them. Yeah, well, how long is Erica going to put up with that? In Luton, Richard's bunch of local removers make light work of his belongings. But it's a different story here in Enfield at Erica's. Cool, Erica, that one looks really heavy. <laughs> oh, see what I have to do? See what I have to help with? You know, I get the feeling the boys aren't afraid to let the girls do most of the work around here. Well, actually, the, um, I had a new garden put down because uh, it was a bit of a mud bath when I was selling it, so I put a new lawn down. And because I've been so busy over the last couple of months, I've not actually had time to cut it. So if you could crack on with that, that would be fantastic. <laughs> you have got a real problem with gardens, haven't you? What's wrong with doing mowing the lawn? I love mowing the lawn. Well, I did, until having to tackle this one. Richard has been lazy letting the grass grow so long. And a better mower might have been more helpful here. No wonder Richard doesn't like mowing the lawn with this thing. I mean, it's pathetic. He needs to get his equipment sorted out, if you know what I mean. Back in Enfield, Erica's hard at work tackling the loft. And upstairs here, I find yet more women doing Richard's dirty work. Do we have the mum and the sister? Yes, we do. Hello there. Eileen, is it? I'm Sally. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sally. And this Lisa. Hi, Sally. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are things going up here in this midden? We're just clearing up Richard's mess as usual. <laughs> He's left the horrible bit for us to do. This is actually a bit of a disgrace up yeah. here, isn't it? I mean, it is, isn't it? What do you think? You're his mum. You know what his hygiene standards um, are like. Well, when he lived at home, hygiene quite good, but at tidiness. No. <laughs> was his bedroom always as bad as this? I'd say it was slightly worse. At least he seems to be good at directing his team. Up again! It's just the big things left to go onto the van, including those precious arcade machines. Pull it a little bit if you can. 
over at Erica's, we could do with one or two of those extra people. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Despite having less hands on deck, Erica's flat is packed and Richard's house has been emptied for him. So it's time to say goodbye. Little Cass has been oblivious the whole move, hasn't she? Yeah, she's sort of been... She's been lazier than me, which is a bit of an achievement. <laughs> she's just sat here sleeping and all these big machines were coming yeah, out. I'm lazy. That's where you know where she gets it from. Yeah, exactly. Um, I am happy to be going. Bit of a sad one, you know, first, first property and everything else. But, uh, no, looking forward to moving on and moving on with our lives together, really. Abbott's Langley, here we here come. Here we come. Come on then, Cass. Let me get you a little blanket here, sugar. Come on, Cass. Lots of new well, don't go, friends. Go, come on. She doesn't want to come. <laughs> come on, Cass. Richard has sold his two bed terrace in Luton for £117,000. And Erica has sold her maisonette in Enfield for £163,000. So together they've bought this three bed semi in Abbott's Langley for £247,000. Oh, it's the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Where's your Take chivalry? Get back! Oh, I don't know who's first! You take me over the fence! Yay! We're in the rain! Oh, the kitchen? It's beautiful. Oh, it's every bit as oh. nice as in the pictures. This was the first room we came in when we looked round. Yeah. Wasn't it? And we both looked at each other and said, that's it, we don't even need to see the rest of the house. We just wanted it instantly. Which just goes to show how much a quality kitchen will sell a property. But the real deal clincher was the space on the side for that games room extension. I'm worried, though, about where those arcade machines will go until it's built. Uh, they're actually going to live in here for the time oh, being. How can you do oh, that? Know. You know I hate them. <laughs> it's going to ruin the decor and look really black oh, and ugly over there. Only until the extension. Why can you not put them in your little shed around the back just now? Please don't ruin your lovely life. I think lounge. they'll be all right, then, yeah. I think they'll be fine here. <laughs> be fine Are here. you sure you want these? I mean, there's how many of them? Two or three? Four. Four. This is the garden, so nice long garden for Cass to run around in. When we, we had the surveyor's report done, and on the, that tree, that willow tree there, they've actually said we need to prune it back because it's got to the point where it's a bit too long. Yeah. So as a matter of caution, they've said we need to get that cut. With Richard and Erica's track record, I think we need to step in and get this garden sorted. I know just the people to call. First things first, though, we've got two vans to unload. Oh, yes, I'm all right. I'm alive. What a fright. And it seems to be the girls doing the bulk of the work again. Let's hope we see a bit more graft from Richard this afternoon. All right, David. Hey, Gavin. That's the offending tree up there. All right. I've got in a firm of tree surgeons to have a look at the willow tree. All right, David, this is the offending tree. Yep. And they've had a mortgage report done, and one of the things they said they need to do is just to trim it back a little bit. Now, I think it's because it's too close to the house, but you probably know more about that than what, than what I do. So what do you think? Well, I think probably what the issue is is because um, this is more than likely a clay soil, and uh, trees obviously take water out of the clay, and the clay is likely to shrink. I think the tree needs to be reduced just to reduce the amount of water the tree's taking up, and therefore the house is less likely to um, subside. Okay. So I think we probably need to reduce the tree by maybe 20, 25%. These guys certainly know what they're doing, but before doing any major work on a tree in your garden, always check it's OK to do so with the local authority, or you could end up getting felled by a hefty fine. So that's the willow tree getting a short back in size. Now, Eric and Richard aren't that keen on cutting grass, so we've sorted out a robotic lawnmower as a surprise housewarming gift. This way. Alex, how's it going? Hi, Sally, I'm going really well. You're hiding at the bottom of the garden, hoping no one sees who you are and what you are. Tell me, how does this robotic lawnmower work? All you do is just set it up yeah. and it just runs around the edge so it'll straddle the wire right down here. Oh, I see. So, so it's edge. looking for the wire as yeah. it's edging. Yeah. Exactly. And it'll work inside in the rest of the lawn. Remember, if anyone asks you, you are tree surgeon man number five. The willow tree's been cut back, so it shouldn't cause any problems now. The unloading's almost done. The arcade machines have made it in one piece. But the living room is starting to look more like a public bar. And it doesn't seem to bother Richard that the rest of the house and their beautiful new kitchen is in complete chaos. <laughs> Do you know which boxes are yours and which boxes are Erica's? Uh. 
Erica's are the ones with yellow tape on and mine and all the others. Actually, I can tell because Erica's ones are the ones that are beautifully taped and beautifully yeah. labelled. Your ones yeah. are the kind of student version. Yeah. <laughs> mine are like, get it in there, get it packed, get it out. Is this one of your boxes? By the looks of it, Richard and Erica are going to need to get that games room sorted out quick. But at least the garden should be looking fantastic in just a short while. Now, right, come, come on, on out you come. see your little gizmo. This is your housewarming gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a robotic lawnmower. You never have to go near the grass. I would stay or you can use it as an excuse. It. I'm going to mow the lawn. You can yeah, sit there. You can, can see it from the fruit machine. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yay. Well done, Gav. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's your first house together. We hope you enjoy and have many happy years Thank here. You Thank you. Much. And good luck Cheers. in the future for you both. Yes. Thank you for all your help. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for all your help on the new house. We've much appreciated. You're very yeah. welcome. Thank Congratulations you. to both of you. And that's it from today's moving day here <laughs> in Abbots Langley. I nearly forgot. <laughs> now, if you're about to move house and you'd like to get some tips to get you in the mood, then why not check out our website? It's itv.com slash moving day. Correct. That's it from me, Gav, Erica and Richard. Take care. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye for now. Since moving day, the lawn has been immaculately tended by the robotic mower, which has been christened Sally. Bless.